Hello, oh, this is Crafty, Crafty here, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. And today is the day. Today is the day we are going to automate all the circuits. And yes, I decide to move the here a bit. And also, I decide to use these buttons here. And maintenance hatch. I'm still planning for an internal design for what to do, but the end plan is everything here is going to be fully passive. 100% passive. And that would be a bit challenging uh, with the general rules because we cannot interact with the machines inside with our logistics pipes network. Or are we? Uh, either I did put the Vsauce music here or not. Either case, there is a Vsauce uh, reference here. Anyway, <laughs> uh, also between the episodes, I I already told you, move the, this guy here, and they are, there are still parts of it left. Uh, I will move them. But we also did something else. Uh, Skullfire Sword. I finally did that. And... Skull. Yeah, that's the result of uh, two simple uh, night outs. Also, I did something else. It was a bit painful. And there are a bunch of wands. Yeah. I'm currently at Gold Band Transmutative Scepter. Uh, tell ten, ten times faster. And I also upgraded our Kingy Majigi a bit. I'm planning to mood, uh, do some Botania and I need Terra Steel. So yeah, I, <laughs> I will move to Terra Steel eventually. But it's not urgent yet. Yet, as I, as in yet. Anyway, uh, I can put you here too. Now, what we are going to do is actually related to Tomcraft again. Yeah, we have simple, a strange block in the game. Trans vector interface. It can it I. I do believe it has a short area, but it can uh, transport, not, not transport items, but uh, think about it is at say, say, same machine in different location, uh, a more of a Schrodinger's machine. Uh, basically, we can interact with, uh, for example, uh, this block, I Let's do this. This is the transvector interface. I, in, yeah, uh, transvector interface. And if I bind this with this, they, this is actually this in the world. For if I uh, put a hopper on top, it will put it, items in here. If I put a chassis pipe here. It will read this. Yeah. You get the idea, right? Right? Yeah, that's basically what we are plan planning to do. Also, I'm going to expand this area a lot. And uh, by a lot, I mean uh, I will add a few more machine, a few more uh, assemblers here. And uh, basically, I will just add one recipe per machine for them to par fully parallelize. Anyway, uh, with that, we're just gonna need two interfaces here. Those interfaces are for one for uh, fluid. Actually, both are for fluids, but one for uh, soldering iron, and other is for lubricant. That's it. That's the whole stuff. And, by the way, that thing should be expensive, right? Not really. 
I just need arcane stone blocks, which is cheap. A uh, large electrum item pipe, it is cheap. A large steel fluid pipe, extremely cheap. And this is the only expensive part, which is still cheap in our book. Not cheap, but it's compared to what it does. Uh, LV, and we already have one. Yep. That's it, and also this guy. And this is also going to be super simple and uh, large pipe. Come here. And for that, we need shards. Uh, just two different shards. Uh, we need fire, water, and earth. We don't need air because air nomads are dead. Uh. That's a bit bleak anyway, and and with that it should be this. Yep, and voila. Now uh, let's do, do a simple demonstration with that, and uh, let's try some chests. Let me get just get two chests and upper and show you how this thing works. Okay, I will put both of them are in one level up because I will show you something. Actually, yeah, and not really. Let's do this. Okay. Now, we, what we need to do is bind this guy to this, yes. Now, this is this. But I cannot directly interact uh, because it's something that machines should be interact. And if I put these guys, yep, yeah, it works. And let's put a wall between them. And it still works. It still works as expected. And one more thing. If I put this. Yep. It works, works on both ways. And it also works as exactly as you think if we could. Oh, that's cool. That's, that's totally cool. Anyway. Uh, now. Now, what we're going to do is quite simple. We need the rower controller. I crafted some, some controllers and I'm going to need some drawers. But let's come here and should I put here? Nah, uh, I will put Whoops, I forgot I in my magic armor. I can put here actually. Let me just count how many blocks I'm gonna need and then we will uh, be ready. Okay, I decided what we are going to do, but it's gonna take a bit while. Ah, sorry. This is the area that we are going to interact with our machines. Actually, no, 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 it should be okay. Because I will probably end up using, oh, no, 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 yeah, no, I will not use it. Let's do this, and I'm, for now, gonna need four drawers. Uh, four, four X drawers. Actually, I can use those two. Compact drawers, what do I need them? Yeah, uh, about I'm gonna. Yeah, I will use compact drawers. Let's make some compact drawers. Okay, we end, uh, end up putting those guys here. And now, what we're gonna do is actually, I forgot this guy. But let's also put you here. Now, what we're going to need is put all those circuit components to there. Yep, 
that's what we are going to do. And Pachi just decide to jump on my arm. So if you see any jerking motion, uh, that's because of that. Now, what we're going to need is... Just uh, put it here. And chassis pipe. And uh, it's not currently connecting because it's not a inventory at the moment, but it will be. Uh, it's far too away. Okay. Uh, I already told you that there is a range limit, but no problem. We can just use something else. Uh, we can use here, actually. Yep. And with that, I just need... Where is my chassis pipe? Ah, okay. Here. Chassis pipe here. Now, if I connect... Location set, and voila! Binding complete. And, as you can see, it starts connecting to this guy. And if I do this, and unrooted pipes, and so we're gonna connect a basic pipe. Uh, currently, I just uh, temporarily do this, and if I do SMD, yep, I can see them in the system. Yep. And we are just going to put every single thing here. And I will do one more thing. Uh, supply. No, provider. Uh, yeah, it's provide. Uh, supplier module. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to need active supplier module. I guess. Let me just uh, take a look one because I need a no, not this one. Yep, we are gonna use active supplier module. And with that, actually, we are actually you can just uh, be normal because we are gonna lock the inventory. And with that, this guy also we are gonna do something interesting. As I already told you, I need to expand this area a bit. So, that's gonna take a while for me, but... One more spoiler to you guys. We're gonna make another network here. And that network is going to be responsible for our auto-crafting thingy-magigies. So yeah, uh... Actually, there. This is going to be a bit of a sub network, and our main network just going to interface with the this uh, part of things, and we're gonna use something else. One more thing. That thing is uh, it's storage drawers. Yeah, storage drawer uh, downgrade. Actually, I don't need that too. Because provider module will handle that part for me. Yeah, I just realized that. Anyway, let me craft a bunch of machines. Okay, after a bunch of engineering and crafting and more engineering, it's still not fully done, but at least I automated the low voltage and medium voltage circuits. And so what are you waiting at the moment, my friend? Ah, ah, sorry, I forgot this part. We need wafers. And let's take all of them. And place them here. It should be okay. I separated this guy. 
Uh, the reason I separated it was uh, the system got confused. So everything is uh, here is kind of off the grid at the moment, uh, except for the circuits. Circuits are on the grid, and oh, I forgot this part. Uh yeah, that's an issue. I make make it reverse. <laughs> I <laughs> did it in reverse. Ah, now let's fix it, as in Mister Fix It, and satellite. Now we can only make one at the moment. Let's make you seven. Okay, do you connect? Are you connected to the power? Or are you. Are you require a high voltage one? No, you require medium voltage. Ah, no. No, 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 no. Green sapphire. Yes, uh, you're gonna require high voltage one. Yep, that's an oversight on my side. But we can easily fix it. And currently we only need this one at the moment. So uh, if I took cable, blue alloy cable, thank you. I will take all nine of them. Thank you so much. And... I'll just do this and this and this. That should be okay. And advanced precision laser engraver. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Let's place this one because I don't want any kaboom uh, if I change it in the future. Okay. And also, isometal output. It should be able to cut this guy and we get the output from it. Oops, sorry. Okay, it's gonna take a while, <laughs> but as you can see, we done most of the automation. Yeah, rest is just going to take a while. Just going to take a while, and also let's look at the everything else. First, we made every single circuit component into a separate. Uh, assembling machine. We also turned a, a designates a basic bending machine for every single uh, foil, and I will do the same for uh, wire mills, but they are an afterthought because I first need some circuits. Anyway, and this guy is working, yes, and we will get our first set of auto uh, passively crafted thingy majiggies. Yep, we managed to get so. And which one? Uh, you hoard it anyway. Also, what's the power? Here, it's like that. Also, we have a tank here with a connection up there, and then I need some uh, help hunger. That is connected to here, and it provides uh, more soldering iron here, and this one provides lubricant, but we are out of lubricant. We need two different things to be automated. First, I need to automate uh, 
the plastic circuit board. Second, I need to automate the lubricant. Everything else is okay. And it's passively generating our circuits to us. And you need one more. You require one more, my friends. I... Ah, yes, now. Now we need... Uh, it's gonna produce these guys. I'm gonna need two more. Uh, these guys. So... Yeah. We will be uh, doing this thing. Also, how do I add those sides? It's quite simple. Like this. Just right clicking it to a crafting pipe. It needs to be a crafting pipe, but yeah. Other than that, it's all okay. And I think I need to sleep now. <laughs> okay, and I just need to add some more LCRs uh, for. Bo actually, I both need to automate polytetrafluoroethylene and uh, the circuits. The hardest part for the circuits was sulfur acid, and we have a real nice resource of it now. And actually, I can generate whenever I want, so yeah. Also, one more thing is I need a... Uh, yeah, uh, full tetrafluoroethylene uh, automation. S because we are going to spam a lot of uh, LCRs in the near future. And it's going to take a lot of PVC. Anyway, this is Krafty Krafty. And I think this is a short episode. But please do not forget, comment, subscribe, or like the video. I need to find a better uh, way of saying this and better timing for saying this.